Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 407. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. And in today's news, we got some interesting ones. Um, Not really huge, but we got a few interesting ones. And let's hop right into it. So in today's news, uh, Beer Brewery creates Brony. Beer gets a CND from Hasbro. Yes. So, a while back, um, I won't say that much of a while, but uh, it seems that a local brewery from the Chicago-based brewery, um, what they call uh, Illuminated Beer Works, they created a beer that's called Brony. Uh, I'm not 100% sure about the beer and what it is, but from what I can tell, it comes in a four pack. Uh, man, I, I got no idea about drinks, and it's eighteen dollars. That's pricey. I don't know. But anywho, um, the beer or the drink circulated around the Twitterverse for a bit. A lot of people um, pointed out, um, laugh at it, and whatnot. Like it's strange. It's unique, and this is the image of the can. So it's clearly aimed at bronies and we got a pony's head here. Uh okay, you, you don't need <laughs> you don't need to be a genius to guess who it is. It's Princess Twilight. Twilight is on the can. And because of that, it seems that they got a CND from Hasbro. It's been a while since we got those kind of news. So anywho, Hasbro um, gave them a cease and desist order to stop selling the beverage. And um, from what I can say, okay, uh, from the article here from Seth, it says from the looks of it, they're in, uh, on their Instagram, they are going to go ahead and comply and stop selling it. But anything still on the shelf is fair game. Uh, they are based in Chicago, so if you want to hunt it down, you might be, uh, it might be a good place to start. And there's an update. It looks like that. Uh, it looks like they have removed Twilight Sparkle from the can and replaced it with a Brony instead for future sales, which is kind of safe. Um, one of the f- one of the few things that. Uh, Sorry, <laughs> one of the few things, or one of the few reasons why they got CND in the first place is because uh, My Little Pony is a brand for children. So having them have the brand related to alcohol is not something that Hasbro wants. Hasbro is trying to keep the brand My Little Pony a children friendly brand so having this on the can or having twilight quote unquote represent the brand is not something that hasbro wants and in all honesty uh, most of the time when hasbro go after somebody for or somebody or go after somebody because well uh, they copyright their uh, they infringe on the copyright thing. Uh, for example, that's the what game uh, fight, uh, fighting is magic. The game was so good that Hasbro had to <laughs> uh, put a s- cease and desist order on it. And the thing is, uh, Hasbro as a company creates video games, and if they don't control it, they might lose the rights to create a quote unquote fighting game based on the brand. Copyrights and whatever is with this is a bit of a what you call this hard explanation or just it's just not easy. And them going after this one, I find it logical because if they don't protect their brand, uh, it's gonna hurt them in the long run. And that goes for so on. 
don't ask me about the other things because I am no lawyer. I got no idea. This is just me talking about years of um, <laughs> years of reading what Hasbro been doing with other things. It works the same, and well, there's a consistent <laughs> there's a consistent pattern towards it. And for this one, at least they found a loophole to go around it. Just having the name Brony on the can is enough, I would say. And having a pony on the can, like any generic pony, would do fine. But the problem here I'm noticing is that the Twilight here, this is just from the movie. So that's a big no-no too. And you're wondering how can I tell this is from the movie because of the ears. So anywho, um, at least they found a workaround and they can still sell their drinks. So that's awesome. That's awesome. And let's move on to the next and last news. Unfortunately, we have a slow news week this week. And IDW Transformers number 18 gets a convention exclusive cover. And look at this one. Like, hmm. Hmm. What, 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 what do you... Hmm. You know, honestly, I got no idea who the bots are, but I am loving it. I'm guessing that Soundwave with a DJ Poon 3 cosplay, so that's cool. I got no idea who this is. Is it Galvatron? Not sure who this one is. And not sure who that one is. But this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Uh, okay, let's get back into the article. Uh, Seth wrote, uh, While this doesn't have anything to do with the upcoming crossover comic, IDW is apparently bringing the pony spirit over to their mainline Transformers series with the pony-inspired comic cover above as and exclusive for an upcoming convention. We don't have a hint of which event yet. Hopefully that info will pop up soon. Alrighty then. I'm guessing a Transformers Con or the San Diego Comic Con probably. And well, I can't wait to see it out. Like, this should be really cool. This is, this is awesome. So anywho, uh, that's the news for this week. And, well, folks, <clears throat> with the current health crisis going on in the world, things have been, well, slow on some ends. And, well, okay, I'm just going to go hop on to my week because I did a few things. And... My week has been pretty okay, pretty slow-ish and stuff. I uh, went to watch a movie. I know there's a big no-no in this day and age right now. But yes, I did. And movie I saw was Bloodshot, starring Vin Diesel. Um, the comic um, to movie thing from Valiant Comics, something like that. It was not bad. It was entertaining. It was... it Yeah, it was entertaining. Would I say that it's the best comic book movie out there? No, not really. I would say that I find the story interesting. The method that it started out with and stuff. Like, the movie itself was really interesting. Uh... If you have not read or seen anything related with Bloodshot, this is a good start. But I got no idea if this represents how Bloodshot will be in the uh, comics or in other mediums. But as for this one, I say it breaks down the character pretty well. Like it's a quote-unquote an hour and... 30 minutes slingshot of the character because if you've got no idea who it is this is him this is how he was created and so on blah 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 blah. so the movie is 
a quote unquote rundown and if you enjoy the movie uh, you might want to purchase the comics uh, as besides that I can't say much I enjoy the movie for what it is and one of the few things that's going around in my head is that too bad they didn't hire Jason David Frank for the role uh, because he is uh, bloodshot in a TV series, if I remember right? Web series? I'm not 100% sure. But he uh, he plays that character there. And I think what? He mentioned something about his views on the movie on his YouTube page. If you're interested, go check it out. And yeah, it was a fun movie. It was a really fun movie. And other than that, um, haven't been doing much. Like, i am just been sitting at home and doing work and stuff and because of the current global health crisis it is recommended that we quote unquote stay home to avoid exposure and if you for one have to go to have to go out to go to work and school and whatever it is um, be safe remember that uh wash your hands when you before you eat or before you touch your face or whatever it is and let's just say that keep a proper clean hygiene practice um, one of the few tips I personally can give to you guys is that always carry around a hand sanitizer wet tissue tissue paper or a clean handkerchief and those those are always good to have around and when you go out to eat make sure you wash your hands before you go eat because well this is just basic uh, cleanliness 101 uh, the idea is that when you interact with somebody especially cashiers and if you have paper money, paper money is not clean. So uh, be mindful when exchanging monies with uh, the cashier. Uh, sit down at the table, go wash your hands, or if you do not want to go wash your hands, uh, clean, wipe it down with wet, uh, wet, wet, wet towels, something like that, or even uh, use hand sanitizers to clean them. Besides that, uh, if you're out and about, try to avoid shaking hands with friends. And if you find it hard not to, um, do fist bumps or bro hooves. Those always work. And well, if it's unavoidable, after shaking hands, make sure to wipe your hands with hand sanitizer or wet tissue just to clean it off. So. Just, just be safe. Just be mindful. Other than that, um, try avoiding large groups of people, like malls or everything like that. I personally, quote unquote, have to go out for reasons, but I do try to avoid them whenever possible. And yeah, drink lots of water. That's general tip. Give me a second. Yeah, that's a general tip and whatnot. But other than that, be safe, guys. Be safe. I, I don't want to hear any of my listeners getting the con... No, not con... Like, you know, just getting sick. And also talking about conventions. Or most of the cons nowadays have been either cancelled or postponed. And yeah, it, it's understandable why so... And for you guys, I do hope that you are safe and yeah, just be safe, guys. Just be safe. Anyway, uh, let's wrap it up. So anyway, uh, let's see. If you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at thembshow@gmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. And also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. 
Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And also... Subscribe to the Stitcher Radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on from the com. We also have the review and discussion podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Over there, you'll catch me, Silver Quill, and Totera reviewing the pony episodes, comics, and also specials. Sometimes we like to divert from doing ponies and we go to video games, comic books, animes, cartoons, whatever it is, we do it. <laughs> It's a lot of fun sometimes, and we just go all over the place. Woo! Anyway, if you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash the MBS show. With every single support, you get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcasts, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. And one of the few things that you get as a Patreon exclusive is a raw cut of the review and discussion podcast over there you'll get to hear bloopers and uh, cut contents and whatnot and I say that if you are a fan of the MBS show and you want extra content I say that this is worth it you will get it for a dollar so yay Um, other than that yes the thank yous talking about thank yous I would like to thank Lucky Knight Amy Jeffrey, Tristan, and also Master of Black. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. Stay safe, be well, and take care of yourself. And we'll, guys, catch you next week with another fun episode of the show. See ya.